Hey, we've been talking about the promise, the promise of God of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Yesterday, we talked about the fact that it's God's pleasure to give us the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, to live within us. And all we got to do is ask. And we found out that he gives us that promise, not just for us, but for the generations that follow us, that for our, our offspring. And so today, I hope that you'll ask and receive the Holy Spirit and begin to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit and be witnesses to every everyone around you so that it's not only just for you, but it's for your kids too. Amen. But the thing of it is, it comes from asking. So I'm going to go back to uh, Luke chapter 11. Yesterday we, we read this and it says, I say to you, this is in red letter, so this is Jesus saying, I say to you, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds to him who knocks it will be opened. That's very important for you and I to understand because Jesus, Jesus himself is saying this right now. That if you'll ask, if you'll knock, if you'll seek, those things will take place. But when you look this up in the Greek, it, it means to keep on asking, to keep on knocking, and to keep on seeking. It doesn't just mean to try it one time. I know that many of us uh, have heard this word before and we've said, well, I I'm going to try it. I'm going to ask for the Holy Spirit to come and uh, be a part of my life. And you've done just that, but... Just because things don't go exactly like you want or you don't feel that power or you don't understand how it functions, we give up. But this is not something you try. This is something that you live. It becomes part of your life. I live a life of Christ. I put on Christ every day. Every single day I put on Christ. I think um, uh Remember, it says that um, those of us who are born again, that we are a new creation in Christ. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We're a new creation in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. But this is a daily practice. We are a work in progress. We continually have to do this. We have to have our minds renewed to these things. We have to be seeking. We have to be asking. We have to be uh, knocking every single day. It's something that we continue to do. But here's a promise from God. If you'll ask, you'll receive. If you'll seek, you will find. And if you'll knock, the door will be open to you. But again, we have to ask in faith. In James chapter 1, it says, anyone who asks with doubt in your heart, he's like a wave of a sea. Remember, we talked about that last week. We're like a wave of a sea. We, we're to and fro. We need to be solid in our walk with, with God. We need to be solid in faith, knowing that God will not fail. Remember, this is a promise from God, a promise of the Holy Spirit, endued with power and walk in victory. In Jesus' name, amen. All you got to do is ask. Practice it. Do it today. Ask him today. God, fill me with your Holy Spirit. I'm knocking and I'm seeking. And remember the Bible tells us that we're to seek. This is uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. Seek him constantly, all the time. Make it a part of your life. Don't just try it on become it. Amen in Jesus' name. Hey, I love you. Jesus loves you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.